Toyota CEO, this new engine will destroy the entire EV industry. Did you know that Toyota, despite releasing some electric vehicles next year, doesn't fully believe in an all-electric future? Instead, they've been exploring alternative energy sources. Now their partner, Chinese state-owned GAC Group, which is half-owned by Toyota, has created the world's first ammonia-powered engine for cars. But before we dive into Toyota's new engine, let's first understand what an ammonia engine is and why it's making waves in the world of vehicle technology. An ammonia engine is a unique kind of engine that runs on ammonia as its fuel. Ammonia is composed of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms. The special thing about ammonia is that it doesn't contain carbon. When it burns, it doesn't make carbon dioxide, which is good for the environment. Ammonia engines could be a great way to cut down pollution in the future. To make ammonia engines work well, there are different ways. One way is to break down ammonia into its parts, hydrogen and nitrogen. Then, the extracted hydrogen is used in a fuel cell to make electricity. A startup called Emoji even showed this by making a tractor, claiming it is the world's first ammonia-powered tractor that doesn't emit any harmful gases. An alternative strategy is to mix ammonia with other fuels like diesel, gas, or hydrogen before burning them all together. This combination allows for easier ignition and prolonged burning. MAN Energy Solutions used this technology to create a two-stroke green ammonia engine designed specifically for maritime applications. The third option involves employing ammonia as the major fuel source. This method requires sophisticated technology such as spark ignition, compression ignition, and homogeneous charge compression ignition. The potential of ammonia engines is quite promising for the future. One of the primary benefits of these engines is the high energy density of ammonia. This word alludes to the large amount of energy that may be stored in a particular volume of ammonia. This feature is essential for effective energy storage and delivery, making ammonia engines ideal for applications requiring high energy density. Notably, this includes industries such as transportation and power generation where efficient energy storage and usage are critical. Another benefit comes from the abundant availability of ammonia. Its creation may be derived from a variety of components, most notably hydrogen and nitrogen, which are abundant in the Earth's atmosphere. This video emphasizes the potential of ammonia engines as a sustainable energy source. Recognizing these advantages, Toyota has gone to important steps ahead. Toyota has partnered with the Chinese state-owned firm GAC to demonstrate a prototype engine that runs on liquid ammonia. In what appears to be a remarkable feat, the business boasts that their 2-liter four-cylinder engine can generate 161 horsepower while reducing carbon emissions by an amazing 90%. This feat has important implications for the future of automotive design and environmental protection. The business admitted that the development path was not without problems, but Autocar claims that the development team had to deal with a number of concerns, including managing the rise in combustion pressure and eliminating excess nitrogen emissions. These difficult challenges emphasize the devotion and invention that have gone into making this ammonia-powered engine a reality. One of the most notable triumphs in this attempt has been overcoming the inherent problems of burning ammonia in a timely and effective manner. The difficulty of igniting ammonia compared to typical fossil fuels had long hampered its broad use as an alternative energy source. However, the company's experts overcome this challenge, paving the way for ammonia to be used efficiently in the passenger automobile business. Chi Hong Zhong, who is an engineer at GAC Research and Development Center, said that we have managed to solve the problem of ammonia being hard to burn quickly and put the fuel into use in the passenger car industry. It's a social and business advantage that is worth waiting for. The study of ammonia as a low-carbon fuel is gaining pace on several fronts. Nonetheless, significant difficulties must be overcome before it can reach its full potential. Notably, ammonia is more difficult to ignite than traditional fossil fuels. Furthermore, its combustion process is quite sluggish, which complicates its effective use as an alternative fuel source. Given the problems with ammonia-powered engines, broad adoption by manufacturers will need more development and refining. While rapid deployment is unlikely, the prospect of clean-burning combustion engines powered by ammonia is a positive development. It's worth noting that Toyota owns a significant investment in GAC, the firm behind the breakthrough ammonia engine. 
Toyota's strategy for emissions-free transportation is complex, incorporating a mix of alternative fuels and traditional electric cars, as indicated by its participation in numerous motorsports to test and assess this technology. Given Toyota's forward-thinking mindset and investment in GAC, it is possible that the firm may explore implementing ammonia-fueled power plants in countries such as China, and then expanding to other regions as the technology evolves. It should be noted that the agriculture sector uses around 80% of present ammonia production as fertilizer. Furthermore, ammonia is used in sectors such as explosives, dyes, plastics, and a variety of chemicals, demonstrating its accessibility and promise as an alternative fuel. Although there are problems, developments in ammonia engine technology are significant. Despite the fact that China has the largest EV market in the world, there is still a significant interest in conventional combustion engine vehicles. The signs point that the Chinese government is planning to prohibit the sale of internal combustion engine vehicles just like California's rules. The introduction of alternative fuels like hydrogen, ammonia, and synthetic fuels could help extend the lives of combustion engines. In the near future, these new fuel sources may become cheaper to manufacture than fully electric vehicles and therefore can be an attractive and environmentally friendly option for many more consumers while addressing the inconvenience issues. Toyota has a robust presence in the Chinese market and even manufactures EVs specific to that region. On the other hand, the strategic approach of the company shows commitment to satisfying varying needs of customers. This holistic plan is in line with Toyota's investigation of technologies, such as the ammonia-powered engine. It will be fascinating to see if this technology advances to commercial availability and, if so, whether it is implemented on a worldwide basis. In the context of China's changing automotive environment, the possible inclusion of alternative fuel-powered cars, such as those fueled by ammonia, adds an interesting dimension to the continuing shift to more sustainable transportation alternatives. It's also worth noting that, while GAC and Toyota's ammonia engine improvements are impressive, there have been previous advances in this area. Around a decade ago, the Korean Institute for Energy Research made significant progress by developing a vehicle called AMVE. This trailblazing vehicle used a combination of 70% ammonia and 30% gasoline, resulting in a 70% decrease in carbon emissions. The AMVE project was designed to investigate the feasibility of a totally ammonia-fueled engine. Examining GAC's engine, which runs on liquid ammonia, it is clear that carbon dioxide is being produced. This discovery suggests the inclusion of another fuel source in the engine's architecture. Given ammonia's properties, such as its relatively slow flame propagation speed, such a system might be practical for engines running at high RPMs or low loads. By mixing ammonia with another fuel, the GAC engine may have effectively solved these constraints. This hybrid method might potentially improve the engine's functionality and usability. While several studies have tackled ammonia-fueled engines from varied perspectives, collectively, they underline the continuous attempts to harness the promise of ammonia as a cleaner and more sustainable fuel source for combustion engines. As this subject evolves, it is expected that more inventions and optimizations will help to achieve the objective of ecologically friendly transportation. So, what do you think about this engine? Let us know down in the comments section. And thanks for watching.